Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. So today we're gonna do a fun, well, sort of a different work in progress video, and this is for my own personal collection. It's kind of a side project. We'll explain how this came to be, but we are going to customize a new cover for All Star 58, uh, first appearance of Power Girl for my own personal collection. Now you might be saying you're nuts. Why would you take an old book like this? Blah 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 of uh, customize it and why would you crack open a case well i'm actually not cracking open in this case i'm just showing you what the cover looks like this is my uh signed copy but i happen to have won a damaged copy off of ebay so you can see this is an all-star 58 damaged and the damage on this is it is faded to all hell now you might be saying how the hell did you win this or how the hell did this fade well in the description when i won it it said that the owner had this in their display case, which I'm assuming it was either a display case of in their collection in their house, or it was in a comic book store, and they installed new LED lights. And those LED lights must have been on all day, so I'm assuming it was a comic book store, because you can see this is probably where the sticker was for the price. So you know how you have these stickers on your books like this and stuff? So what probably happened is the sticker was here for the price, and the LED was fading, this. they never paid attention until they finally went and saw it. So, I won this cheap off eBay, um, and the reason why I picked it up, and the reason why this came to be, and we'll break it all down, is over the past year or two, uh, pretty much two years, I've been selling off my comic books. Uh, I've been selling them on eBay, selling them on uh, application offer up, stuff like that, because uh, at one point it had 16 long boxes, and over the past couple years I decided I don't want these books anymore. I haven't read them. Uh, I, I don't really ha see them. They're just in boxes. So I decided that when I do my new TV room, what I want to do is I want to have graded copies and I want to upscale my comic. So uh, Power Girl First Appearance 58 was really undervalued like after the lockdowns. I was on eBay and they were really dirt cheap. They weren't expensive for a Bronze Age First Appearance character. So I was buying up a bunch of uh, graded copies. I was upgrading my copies. Um, you know, what I did is I had a lot of these books too, of uh, the All-Star. You know, this is a 59, her second appearance. Uh, this is 63 when she joined the, officially joined the JSA. So I had a lot of these in my collection, but they were all beat up and bashed up. So I decided to upscale for better quality. So I've been buying key books of them graded already so I can display them. I could swap them out when I do my new display room. So as I was doing that, I don't know if you guys have heard of the whole acetate gate scandal with, uh, what was it? Um, I forget the name of the company. Uh, Black Flag Comics, where they did that whole ultimate fallout book of first appearance to Miles Morales. It was a facsimile. So to sum it up real quick, I'll give you guys a summary. Go on YouTube, there's plenty of videos on it. What happened is this company produced a facsimile variant cover of the book and they made uh, like 3,000 copies but they never sold. And then I guess what they did is they took those copies and they went back and they added an acetate cover. And what happened is there was four staples on there and CGC even graded it and it was a big whole scandal. It was a funny thing. But what gave me the idea is I started seeing people making funny acetate covers for their books. Like there was one guy, I wish I could find his uh, Instagram video if anyone knows, link in the description. Uh, he did a uh, Turok uh, number one book and he added an acetate cover to that with like Jurassic Park van and stuff. I saw some other people starting to add acetate covers, doing funny things. And I, I thought the whole running joke was hilarious because these people had me crying. But I decided, like, what if I made an actual acid, you know, like a variant cover for my own collection when I saw this on eBay? I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can win this book. And it was cool. I won this book, I think, for like 20 bucks. You know, and at the time, they've gone up even more. But raw books of Power Girl were going for like almost 70. But now they're kind of going up to the $100 mark. So, I was lucky enough to get this. Now, it's funny, if this book wasn't uh, faded, it's got a really great spine, a little corner mess up here. Now, there's some cuts back here, but the inside is actually, I would consider white pages. I think these inside pages are very clean. I don't think they're off-white. Uh, this book could have been around maybe like a 6.5, like this graded book here, or even higher. I'm not really sure. I'm not a grader, but it could have been a really high-grade book, but I want it this way. So... The idea is um, I want to make a new cover for this. Now, if you guys don't know, I was a graphic designer uh, for years. Uh, and when I lost my job, I started doing the statue work for full time. So I still have my old 2008 Mac Pro. Um, I have the old CS5 uh, Adobe Suite, which is Photoshop and Illustrator on that. So I don't do any graphic work anymore. But sometimes when I do it, it's for myself or friends. So 
A while back, I'll link in the description, I commissioned an artist uh, named Chris Delara. She was uh, She's a great artist. I love her work. And I had her do a Power Girl portrait for me. And it's one of my favorite arts in my whole collection. I got a couple of them already on my wall. So I thought after I saw the whole Black Flag uh, Acetate Gate uh, scandal, I decided once I got I saw this, I said, I'm going to make myself a custom cover for myself for this book. Because this book is damaged. And you know me with the statues. I customized damaged statues, so I said, well, let's customize a damaged comic book. Let's see what will happen for fun. So, what I did is I went into Photoshop, and I took her artwork, and I created a basic new cover for this. So, what I did is I took out all these elements of the cover, I shrunk them, I warped them, and I did this stuff, and I took Chris's artwork, and I put it in the front of it. And I really like it. It looks pretty good. So she did a charcoal drawing like in the beginning you can consider this a charcoal drawing in 2D just to give like a sketch of what she was going to do. And I saved that artwork and I put it on the back because a lot of these uh, you know variant covers that they do on these sites they always do like you know the name of the company on there the artist and they do like a little bit of a logo so I kind of use this for the back. So I said you know what I think this will be a really cool cover. I uh, got some feedback from my friends they thought it was pretty cool. And what I did is I printed that out a couple copies and I folded it just to make sure we're in scale so you can kind of see what it would look like. I didn't want to print this out on good paper yet until I knew this would go over this cover very well. So I think the goal is I'm going to take out the staples, the two staples, and when I take out the two staples, I'm going to try to line up the holes again because I want to try to get these hole, you know, these staples back in these holes. I'm going to do what I can. We'll see. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put the new cover on. Now this is just a black and white just to test everything out. I'll show you the color copy in a second. But it's a good thing I did a, a look because the way it happened is this was a little bit too short over here. But then again, it's not really uh, cut perfectly over here. But it's a pretty cool idea. So what I did do is I went on uh, Amazon and I got myself a nice long stapler for like 10, 15 bucks. I forgot what it was because well, my staples will never have gone across. So my color copy came in. And you can see it's kind of bent up and rolled up at the moment. I'm trying to naturally get this back to flatten it because they sent this out rolled up. But this is kind of what I came up with. So it's going to look a really cool one done. I'm really excited to get this going. So I did talk to Chris and I said, would you be willing to sign the cover for me? Because I got a fun idea what I'm doing with this. And she said, more than happy. So what I'm going to do is once I get the cover on the book, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to send it out to her. I'm going to ask her to sign it. I might even see if she's willing to do uh, maybe just a little quick sketch or something over here in the back for fun or not. I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely want it signed up in here, like probably in like maybe silver or gold or something. We'll see. And uh, I'm going to, of course, pay for her time. I told her, like, I'll definitely, you know, buy you lunch, buy you dinner, send you a couple bucks just to sign it and send it back. And then once I get it back, while I send it out there, we're going to do an extra step. And this is going to be a really funny step. We'll kind of... Uh, I'm going to leave it as a surprise once I get all the elements. Uh, so I'm going to order all that stuff when I get it, uh, this out to her. And then when we come back and we start uh, putting it all together at the end, it'll look pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is the next step is we're going to, once I get this color piece flattened out, I'm going to, we're going to go over on how to get it on there. Now I'm hoping I get this done in the first shot because this was pretty expensive to print because I wanted really good quality paper. So this was probably like a $25 print. But as long as I do what I used to do back in the day, graphic design, and take my time cutting it, make sure I do a nice, tiny, good, little bit of a tiny slit in the inside. When I bend this, it should bend pretty well. Um, and we can put it over, we can staple it, uh, or we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. So I just got to get this button out first. And if this goes well, if this goes well, well, what I'm going to do is down the line, I'll just show pictures on my Instagram or something. This is All Star 58. I mean, this is 59, this is the second appearance of Power Girl, and like I said, this is uh, 63, uh, when she first joined, uh, officially joined the JSA, I want to do custom covers for these two books. Now, these are my old, old books, I upgraded to better quality ones, graded, and these are kind of like bend up, uh, banged up, and they're not, I think they're like, you know, really off to yellow pages, so I'm going to do some custom covers of these as well down the line, if this thing works out. Uh, just side projects for fun, so... Hopefully you guys like the way this turns out. I'm not going to make this a common thing. This is just for myself, just to have some fun. It gives you guys some ideas that maybe you have some old banged up books and you wanted to do a custom cover for the hell of it. It might open up a whole new market just for personal shit. Who the hell knows? But with that being said, 
Uh, let me get this thing flattened out. We'll come back. We'll start cutting it up and we'll try to get it onto this uh, cover and get rolling on that. So I don't have a good proper uh, setup for cutting stuff. So this is my old uh, artboard from art school. Uh, something I really don't use that much. So I kind of use this for like cutting things whenever I need to pop out something. So what I did is I made a mark here and I made a mark here uh, by having this up at the light. Uh, so then I made a mark on the other side. So what I did is I did a very, very light slice in here with my X-Acto blade. Like, literally, all I did was I put this on there, and I very lightly just kind of ran the X-Acto blade down there. So this way, when I bent it this way, uh, I, I followed that mark. Because if you don't have some kind of, like, groove or something and you try to bend it, you're not going to line it up correctly. So, my next step is sort of cut all this off. Now, I do know when I put this piece on here, uh, what happened is, is when I bent it over, um, I didn't get it all the way there because it's gotta go around the, uh, the whole cover. So, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a very, uh, I'm gonna do my cuts, just double checking everything right now, making sure everything's lined up and stuff. So. I'm going to do my cut over here, again, like I did last time. Uh, so what I have to do is, it's kind of a pain in the ass, and I always hated doing this. So you have to sort of, if you slice off this part here, what happens is you lose your cut over here. So what I got to do is I got to slice it here, I got to turn it, slice it here, turn it, slice it here, and slice it there, and then it should pop out pretty well. So now that I already got my bent in here with this piece, it's been out pretty well. So... I'm trying to do this with very clean hands. I didn't like do any, I just woke up today. I got my coffee. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, before I do any kind of uh, cleaning in the house because it's a Sunday or before I hit anything on the computer, before I do anything else, I don't want my hands and everything to be dirty. So I'm kind of doing this now while I can and I'm trying to make sure all my surfaces are nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this stuff and then we're gonna put it around the cover and we're gonna hope everything lines up pretty well. Now. If it's not 100% perfect, it's not the end of the world, um, but uh, it's pretty much going to look pretty good there. Uh, so right, I'm just kind of spitballing because it's still kind of early. So let me go ahead and cut this, and then we're going to put it on the cover and see what happens. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out the edge, as you can see. So I, I made sure, you know, like I said, if you slice it off at the top, all of a sudden you lose your guy. So you got to kind of take your time and do it. So I went ahead and I bent it around the comic, and the front of it, looks really good sadly the back of it's not lined up perfectly uh because you know it's got a little bit of that bend it's something i should have kind of planned a little bit better even though i thought i did give it a little bit more but you know what i'm okay with it um it's not the end of the world uh i think it's going to work out pretty cool it's more or less the front should look pretty good and uh i think it should uh, be pretty cool so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to pop out the staples uh, but before I pop out the staples, I'm going to make little tiny holes of where the staples should go uh, to match up these holes as best as I possibly can. And then I'm going to spread it all out. I'm going to grab my uh, stapler and I'm going to try to staple on that. This is the tricky part because I want to make sure everything's lined up pretty well. And like I said, I'm going to leave this cover on. Um, I think it's cool to leave that cover on there as well. Um, and then I'll staple it. I want to try to keep it two staples, you know. You know, the, the best way to do this, if it was like a, you know, like a real press and stuff, it would bend right. So, like, you can see the black is sort of kind of cracking a little bit here already. But it's not the end of the world, so I kind of still like the way it's looking. So, I'm going to make my marks. I'm going to go grab my stapler. Uh, I'm going to try to staple this, and we'll come back, and we'll see how it looks. And then, uh, you see how it's still kind of like this? I think once I put it in a comic book bag and board, and I kind of, like, uh, put some other stuff on top of it, it'll flatten over time, and then it'll look pretty cool. So, we'll grab our uh, All-Star cover here, so we'll kind of see how it looks side by side. It's going to look pretty cool, you know? Taking an old-school comic book cover and make it, and this is kind of my own little uh, grab. So... Let me try to get this stapled and see how this looks. Okay, I went ahead and stapled it, and it's the best it's going to get. Um, what happened is trying to line up with the original holes, it was going to rip and everything. Uh, so I did my best to line these up, and it's not going to hold the pages perfectly as long as we don't open and close it, open and close it. So, but it is, uh, it, it worked out pretty well. Um, I am happy with it. Uh, it's not 100% perfect in the back, but. I think that's okay. It's not going to get a 9-8 uh, grade, but uh, it definitely uh, works out pretty well. 
<laughs> I'm really uh, happy with it. So it just needs to be flattened out pretty well. So I'm going to go grab a bag of board. And I am going to uh, contact Chris Delar now. And I'm going to see if I can send this out to her to sign it. I would like to have her sign it somewhere on here. I'm thinking um, if I can tell her to sign it like around here maybe. You know. And then uh, I don't know if maybe she wants to do something on the back real quick. Like maybe a little sketch or something. A remark. Uh, she doesn't have to but I'll ask her. Um... And then after that, when I get it back from her, we're gonna take the next steps, which are gonna be, which is gonna be funny as hell. But this is gonna look pretty uh, cool to have my own little, uh, you know, first appearance Power Girl with a custom cover. Uh, like I said, if the if the comic was like brand, you know, great, and it was like a six five or a uh, grade higher, or like you know, I would never do anything like this. But with the cover on the back being cut and uh, the cover faded and stuff, it's kind of a done deal. Um, even the inside stuff, I went through it a little bit more, and even the inside, there's some areas that are kind of eh, so this is going to work out pretty well. Um, Alright, let me get this on the bag and board, let me contact Chris Delar, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so bear with me, I just kind of woke up in the morning, I'm still kind of like not even awake yet, but I just wanted to film this part before I start doing some other stuff today. Uh, what I did is, after everything was said and done, I put this in the comic book bag and board, and I put this on a piece of foam core, and I put another piece of foam core on top of it, and I put a box of comic books on top of this. And I let it sit there for about a week or so. So when Chris finally got back to me uh, for all the information to send this out to her, because I want her to like to probably hopefully sign it around here. I'm gonna let her know, maybe like kind of sign it like right there. I think that would be a good spot for it. And uh, what'll happen is once she gets the sign and sends it back to me, I'm gonna order the other elements for finishing up this book, which is gonna be pretty cool. And then what we'll do is we'll finish out the video once I get this in and I get those elements. So I'm going to try to order all that stuff up today. Uh, what I'm also doing for Chris is I had a couple of these blank covers in my uh, box of books. I'm sending these out to her as a, a little bit of a bonus for doing this for me. It's kind of my gift to her. So if you guys want to give her a follow, uh, I told her, I said, what you do is get a chance, maybe do a couple sketches on these when you have some free time. Put them up for your site for sale. So if you guys uh, like her artwork and stuff, so maybe she'll have these up for grabs. Uh, just something a little bit extra for her, going out of her way to do this for me. Um, so that is where I'm at with this. I'm really liking this a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with this cover. So let me get this packed up. Let me wake my ass up today. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll hopefully by the next part of this video, I'll have all the elements and we can finish this off. Okay, guys. So uh, I got my signed book back in the mail. I sent it out to Chris Delara. Uh, she signed it right here and I absolutely love it. It just looks great. This is such a really cool item. Uh, I'm so happy that she was willing to do this for me. Uh, it's kind of like a holy grail item for myself. It's turning out really cool. Uh, one of the other cool things I didn't expect her to do, she sent me a nice sketch too as well. So she is just an amazing artist, amazing person. She knows I love Power Girl and I did not expect her to do this, which is amazing. Uh, so this is definitely something I got to get up on my wall and find a spot for now. And also I didn't realize it too, I flipped it around too by accident and she put in one of the, uh, her new uh, line of uh, astrology stuff. Uh, you know, uh, birth signs, and basically she knows I'm a cancer, so she sent me this, so I gotta get myself a nice little frame for this to put up right here in front of me too, uh, in the studio, so this is a really nice bonus, so this is, uh, turning out to be a really cool project after everything's said and done. Now, what I wanted to show you guys is, uh, with all this being said and done, uh, we are going to make our own custom slab book now so i ordered this from actually comic skin which is a really cool site i found after like you know going online and everything and they sent this out to me uh i did the whole order thing so basically what it is is uh it's called comicskin.com and basically you can actually slab your own books now is it like you know perfectly slab like a cgc or cbcs no but you can swap them in and out so what they do is they send you a piece here that you can slide your comic book in from the side and then you put it into your case and you use these little clips to clip these on on the sides. Now what I did was I followed it for a signed piece so it's All Star Comics 58 thing and I, what I did is I made it a Vince Veil vale variant Crystal R cover and uh, crystal art cover there. So it's kind of a 9.8. Yeah, is it a 9.8? No, but it's kind of for myself. So this is really, really cool. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to get the comic in here 
And then what we'll do is we'll get this into the slab and we'll lock it all up and then we'll see how it looks all said and done. But just to give you guys an idea, the slab is not like super thick. Um, it's just a fun little item. It doesn't have to be like, you know, perfect and everything, but it's going to be a really cool display piece in my collection. So let me get this all put together and then uh, we'll see how this looks. Okay, so I got it in here. So the way it works is they, uh, they lift it up on the side here and then you slide your book in. Uh, so... I'm trying to do this in a way where it doesn't actually it's lined up and it looks pretty good. Oh, this is kind of cool. This is actually a fun thing if you ever want to kind of make your own covers and you want to slap your own stuff. Or say you got a book that's signed and you want to, uh, you know, you want to get it slabbed or do whatever. You can kind of do this. So basically what you do is you take this piece and you put this in here like so. Right? I guess you kind of line this up. Making sure we line all this up correctly. Yeah, lines up like that, and then we take these pieces, and from what I understand, you sort of just kind of lock these into place. And what basically what you can do is you can buy yourself one of these pieces. I don't think you slide it in. I think you got to kind of click it. Yeah, I'm new to this, so we're kind of do it all in here. So yeah, so you kind of just put this on there like so. Maybe I don't have this all the way in correctly. I'm not really sure yet. It's kinda... Oh, this is awesome. This is really funny. <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of this. There we go. Now, I know some people might like, oh, I don't like the black border, or, you know, you're not really a fan of, you know... Uh, it, like, I guess you could send a book like this in to get graded, but it would be a non-grade because it's a, a fake uh, cover. You know, it's not like legit, blah, blah, blah. But for my own personal collection, just for myself, it's kind of fun to kind of create my own little book. And this is actually looking even better and better as I get these on. The black border actually works pretty good with the cover because we've got this black line here. So this is looking actually pretty sweet. So you just kind of... So like I said, you can actually order skins... And you can swap out books whenever you want. So you can have one case and you can slap out. So that is how it looks. So that is from Comic Skin. That is really cool looking. So what we'll do is we'll pop out my uh, CBCS book. So you can look at it side by side. That's kind of cool. It almost looks like a legit comic uh, graded book now. It's a little bit thinner. Yeah, the, the plastic is a little bit more wobbly. Because this is sturdy plastic. This is like, you know... But this is a little bit more wobbly. This is kind of like plastic from the early CGC stuff, so it's got a little bit of wobble to it. But for a display piece far away, it looks like it's a signed book. It looks really, really cool. So I'm um, actually happy with this project. I think I'm going to do another cover. Uh, I um, Actually, let me go grab it, and I'll show you real quick. Let me uh, stop the camera. I'll bring it right back. All right, so uh, we're going to close out the video, but what I want to show you guys real quick is I got another one. Uh, basically, uh, me and my friends went to a local comic book show uh, about a month ago, and it was a very, very small show. It was like, I think it was like $3 for $5 entry. I forgot what it was. Um, it, it was really, really like, felt like those old school like comic book shows you, I went to as a kid where it was just like uh, guys with either comic book cards, some toys, comics. Uh, it was just pure, just small show at an Elks Club. Literally... Uh, after a half hour, we pretty much saw everything, but of course, uh, whenever I go to a show, I always see this cover and I know, I see it right away on the shelf. So some guy had this on the shelf and he was really low grade because it's got this sticker like mess up right in here. It's like all ripped and everything. So I looked at it and I was like, uh, I was like, I'll take it, uh, give it to me for 10 bucks. And the guy was like, yeah, no problem. So I got another one for 10 bucks. So I'm thinking of doing is... Uh, I have a, I, I did another Power Girl commission a while back. Uh, basically, I did uh, that one uh, kind of, let's see, we get it. I did that one up here to the left, this one here by somebody. I was thinking either using that or uh, maybe what I was also debating on for the hell of it is get a, uh, take this piece here, right? Take this piece right here and uh leave this blank and maybe send it to an artist to do me a sketch um i i follow i have this guy uh leandro from ed bain studio 
He's done a uh, bunch of these Power Girl stuff for me here. You know, he's done these Power Girl sketches for me. I absolutely love his work. So I was debating on whenever they uh, do a um, blank cover with Power Girl in it, whether it's like the Power Girl special coming out or a JSA blank or something, maybe send him a blank. Maybe what I could do is I can actually, uh, you know, just print this out and send it to him and maybe he could do me a sketch on it and then when I get it back I can actually staple it to the book and stuff so I'm thinking maybe I might do something like this maybe I'm going to create a blank cover for this book for a specific artist I'm not sure yet who but we'll see what happens but all in all this turned out really really cool this is going to be awesome in my display and you can see now on the back I could have done something on the back of the label too um but that's okay, I can always have them do another thing for me, but you can see Vince Bell Customs, one of a kind artwork by Chris Delara, I put her logo there, and uh, it worked out really good, I'm pretty happy with it. Although I just realized now some of this kind of got fudged uh, there, but that's okay, it's not the end of the world. We're going to look at it mostly in the front, so really, really cool. So that is my custom All-Star Comics 58 cover, hopefully you guys like the way it turned out, hopefully you like this comic skin uh, site where you can kind of slab your own books. It's not that expensive at all, and it looks really cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like the idea of customizing comic books? It might be a thing in the future. I might do some more of my own stuff like this. Uh, or do you like think that it's a horrible idea? Uh, let me know in the comments, but I actually enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. So uh, hit me up, let me know, and uh, we'll be back with some more videos.